soleil s'envahit par la lente. So, Shelby is out of town. My boyfriend Jason, we live together, as you guys might know. It's so weird to say that out loud. I sound like such an adult. Also, I'm just gonna point out, I am shocked, absolutely shocked, after I like kind of announced that me and Jason were like officially moving in together. No one said anything about how we have been dating for February, March, April. It's been like eight months. And so I was really surprised no one said anything like, wow, don't you think that's kind of fast? Um, but I also appreciate not being judged for our decision. We have a very great steady relationship and it sounds weird even like saying it. Like I talk to people that haven't known me that long about my boyfriend and they'll be like, oh wow, like how long have you guys been together? And they expect me to say something like five years. And I'm like, oh, um, eight months. And they're like, oh, like, and I know, I, I never thought I'd be like that person. Uh, I don't know, there's just no drama. And when it's right, it's right. And like, ever since we got together, it was one of those things where we kind of just from the get go, were accidentally living together. Like we would spend all our time together and I was at his house, living at his house for just like pretty much every day since we, got together and it's not like I really, I mean it was like I really was, I never went to my house but I still had my stuff at my house and I was still like paying for my house so anyways, you're probably confused. Did we break up or what? No, of course we didn't but his family is out of town so he's house sitting his parents house and I have cow, my parents are also out of town and I basically like one of their dogs might not be super friendly with my cowboy so it's just easier if we actually for once spend time apart while he's watching his parents house so since Shelby was also out of town that gives me the rare opportunity to live in this beautiful space. I thought I would never spend the night here, but since Shelby's gone and everything, I just threw her sheets in the wash and I'm actually gonna spend a few days testing out what it's like to live alone in my dream apartment, which I definitely thought I'd never do. And for those, it also like, the reason that I don't ever come here with Jason is because he does not want to live in a high rise sort of situation, which I've come to terms with and that's fine, but I'm definitely going to have fun with these next couple days. I've never lived alone ever in my entire life. I've always lived with people. It feels like there's something about it that's really peaceful in a way. Also kind of lonely. I think anyone that lives alone would admit they're like a little bit lonely at the same time, um, but sometimes that isolation, it's not like a totally bad thing. And yes, I'm literally doing my full face of makeup with this tiny mirror. <laughs> that is how important natural light is to me. I did stop at the store before coming here. I got this soup. It is a lemon chicken couscous soup. It's a very dreary day today, so I thought soup sounded kind of good. I also got at QFC, they have these really handy bags of food you can get. You just actually put it in the oven, like this bag and everything. It sketches me out every time. I'm like, is my kitchen gonna blow up and catch on fire? But somehow it doesn't. These are some of my favorite crackers. Raincoat crisps. Okay, these crackers are really good. Um, they are expensive. They're like $6.99 for this little box, which is stupid. It is absolutely stupid. You can go to Trader Joe's and get a very, very similar product. Just throwing that out there. I just wasn't going to Trader Joe's today. And in the fridge, got some wine, some kombucha, a full thing of kombucha. That does sound good. Thanks, Shelby. Oat milk. That is handy. Plenty of veggies, so I should eat some of those tonight. There's some eggs, some spinders. Shelby loves spinders, but I want to make it look like cuter in this fridge, okay? So I'm gonna take the ugly card cardboard box out. One of the best, most underrated things about living alone has got to be having your very own fridge. I mean, you can just stock it exactly how you want. Just That is like first thing on the agenda. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make this fridge.
highly recommend throwing some avocado slices in pretty much any soup. Hoping to get that cool photo. That's a bummer. It was such a nasty, dreary day out. And as soon as I took Oliver to go on a walk, the sun just came out and it's beautiful. It's crazy. It feels like summer. It's awesome. I opened the window over there for the first time. I'm drinking rosé. This is great. I love it. So I went over to Nordstrom and in general, I was just walking around. I like really wanted to buy something. I was like in the mood to buy something, but I didn't. I just didn't see anything I loved, except I did see some shoes that I really liked. They were like a bright orange and they were really cool. I have a dress that they would go with. I didn't buy them, but I might go back and buy them. Honestly, I should just wait for them to go on sale because a bright orange shoe like that is 100% gonna go on sale at some point. So I'm gonna make dinner now. This crazy thing, here it is. A little more up close for you now. Bake at 350. First time turning this oven on. It actually has little knobs. This is kind of cool. Let me show you. Convenient little knobs for your most used temperatures. How nice is that? Putting it in the oven. Am I the only one that thinks this is crazy? This was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. I, I, um, I just remembered. Um, we don't have an oven mitt here. Are there tongs here? Are there any? There are. This will work too. Oh, I'll just use the tongs and put it on a plate. Go and back it. Kind of weird, but okay. Let's make this the best five minutes like a bar wide. Let's make this the best five minutes of the day. Oh, okay. Talk to me. Tell me about your life. How's your head? Good? Yeah, it doesn't hurt today. How is the walk count? Look how pretty it is right now. <sighs> so pretty. really good over here. All right, isn't that crazy? Oh my God. This looks really good. This cod, like it looks like halibut, but the texture I can tell it's, it's cod, but let's try it. Yeah, I mean, it's a little chewy. It's definitely not halibut, but the flavor and like the way everything's cooked, it's really good. It's crazy how it's like literally no effort. I've been craving chocolate like crazy lately. Like the second I finish dinner, I immediately want chocolate. I've just been eating really healthy throughout the day. My body's like purge, I need something. I'm a milk chocolate girl, okay? You know, I think all the, the whoa, look at this. Wow, oh my goodness, okay, oh. I think all of the um, dark chocolate lovers out there, deep down they love milk chocolate. 
they do. They just know liking dark chocolate's like the right thing to do, the adult thing to do, like dark chocolate, but milk chocolate's just so good. Yeah, there better be a freaking cool design. This little piece of chocolate was $5, which is stupid. In Nordstrom today, I was looking at candles, thinking, oh, this is so cute, maybe I'll buy this. But you know, if it's pushing it in price, if it's like $40, I'm not gonna do it. I, I pick up these candles, $89. There, I kid you not, was a set of three votive candles. So I'm talking this small, $89 for the set. What world are we living in? It is time to go to bed. I'm actually so excited. I feel like I'm gonna sleep well here because there's air conditioning. I don't have air conditioning at my house yet. I wanna get it. Oh, I love my little best friend. You know, I will say I got cowboy actually when I did kind of live alone for like a month when I first bought my house before I got roommates. I was like all by myself there. And I actually was like getting used to it and kind of liking it, but I did get a dog because um, it really helps having that companionship, right? This is cool. This is cool. Everything's cool. Everything is cool, cow. I hope I sleep well. I will have a full report in the morning if I actually sleep well. I'm not gonna lie. I did not sleep well. I don't know. I think it was just being in like a totally different location. Oh, I'm so tired. But waking up to this view, oh my god, I feel like I'm in a very luxurious hotel. Let's get up. for a while okay 4,000 I guess it wasn't that long I stopped by the market I really wanted an heirloom tomato some blueberries I had never bought produce from the market ever That moment when I have the perfect avocado toast ingredients, but no toaster. This is a very proud moment for me. Look at this. I am using every last bit of this lip pencil. I actually like can barely, I think this might be my last use. I can't even like really sharpen it anymore. <laughs> Come on, just a little bit. It's from like NYX. I got it at just a drugstore for a couple bucks. I've been super productive filming and editing since 1230. I'm gonna try and push through another hour, maybe hour and a half of just editing. And I'm gonna be really pathetic and order sushi from like 
right down the street. I could go pick it up, but seriously, when I leave this unit without Cowboy, he barks so much. Like I am worried that we're gonna get a complaint. So I'm just gonna order it on Postmates. I saw, oh my God, I saw a Postmates driver actually last night that was stopping in my building. And this freaking guy had a cast on his ankle and he was like riding a scooter. And I was just like, oh my gosh, if the people ordering food knew that their delivery guy literally has a broken foot and he's delivering food for them, I thought that was crazy. Yes, they do and they're open. Okay, now that I'm looking at it, it's gonna be like $15 to get this delivered down the street. I should just pick it up. All right, fine, I'll pick it up. Quite the day when we get bar stools here, but until then, I am just sitting on the floor while I eat. So, this is the uh, Street Fighter from Japanese. It is so good. So, it has some crab in the middle, cucumber, rice. I think it's like soaked in soy sauce on the bottom. Okay, that's great. Tuna on the top and jalapeno. It's really good. It's one of my favorite sushi rolls in Seattle. <gasps> Look at that. Yum. Burr. Reaching the 24 hour mark where I've been by myself and so It's felt a little weird today. Like I haven't really talked to anyone just been by myself I think the walk it was so lively out that it just it felt nice like I got a little social interaction in <laughs> I started this vlog on Thursday. It's now Sunday. So it's two days since I last saw you guys. I'm still here. I was just a little bit busy filming some other videos and it could be hard to remember to vlog, but hello, it is Sunday. I'm so happy to be getting out of this city. Oh my goodness. At the very beginning of the week, I was contemplating whether or not I could go to Palm Springs. Shelby wants me to fly in to help her drive her car back up to Seattle, but I wasn't sure if I could because I have a listing that it did not get in contract on the offer review date. The market is kind of softening you guys. And so I was like, dang, if it doesn't get in contract over the weekend, I'm gonna have to do open houses for it and I can't leave. Well, it got in contract on Friday, I believe it was. I booked my flight yesterday. My flight's in about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. 